Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between thread joint and weld joint. Joining can be performed either mechanically or chemically. A mechanical joint can be either temporary and permanent. Thread joining requires drilled holes on the components for the passage of bolts or screws. On the other hand, Welding is another mechanical joining process that requires application of either external pressure or heat in order to form a coalescence or weld bead to permanently join two or more components together. So, let's look into the basic differences between thread joint and weld joint in a tabular form. Difference number 1, thread joint is one temporary joint. So the threaded assemblies can be dismantled easily without breaking the structures. Whereas, weld joint is one permanent joint, thus welded assemblies cannot be dismantled without rupturing the structures. Number 2, thread joint requires pre-drilled holes on the parent components for the passage of bolt or screws, whereas, no such hole is required to drill on parent components for welding. However, edge preparation might be desired for welding thicker plates. Number 3, Due to presence of holes, effective cross-sectional area of the parent components reduces, and thus load carrying capacity of threaded assemblies reduces, whereas, cross-sectional area of the parent component remains unaltered after welding, thus no drop in load carrying capacity after proper welding. Number 4, thread joining gives an intermittent type joint as a finite pitch exists between two adjacent bolts or screws, whereas, welding gives a continuous joint. Number 5. In thread joint, bolt or screw head remains protruded on the surface, which hampers appearance and also restricts sliding motion on that surface, whereas, reinforcement is the only protruded part in welding, however, it can be removed easily by grinding to improve appearance as well as to get a sliding surface. Number 6. Thread joint, particularly in presence of bolt gets loose under incessant vibration, whereas, with the advancement in welding technology, nowadays most weld joints remain stable under vibration. Number 7, thread joint may not necessarily be leak-proof. Thus it is not suitable for fluid-tight applications, whereas, if carried out properly, weld joints are usually leak-proof. Number 8, inspection. Repair or replacement of threaded assembly is easier and cost-efficient because it can be dismantled as and when required, whereas, since welded assembly cannot be dismantled without destroying it, so repair or replacement is tough and costly. Number 9. Thread joint does not alter metallurgical and physical properties of the components, whereas, most of the weld joints change physical and metallurgical properties of parent component particularly surrounding the wind bead in heat affected zone. And, difference number 7, thread joining does not lead to deflection of the structures, unless the components are very thin, whereas, weld joining, mainly fusion welding processes, leads to palpable deflection due to volumetric shrinkage during solidification.